Hi, I'm Jeff Jansen, and welcome to The Glory Generation. Hello everyone, I'm very excited for this soul. We have a God's General, Man of God, Pastor Dave Jensen. We are going to talk about impartation. It is many times it's understood by the body of Christ about impartation. So does it still work in the New Testament or it is already finished in the Old Testament and there is no impartation in the New Testament? We are going to talk about that. And Pastor Dave is going to bring the light of uh, this topic, impartation. You're welcome in this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Pastor. So, tell us about the impartation. Does it still work in the New Testament or it is it is only in the Old Testament? It is still possible that men and women of God can able to receive the impartation from other people who are in the dimension and they can able to work for the kingdom of God effectively? Absolutely. Yeah, impartation is actually it's still for today and God has never changed his mind. Impartation is impartation. Paul said in Romans chapter 1 verse 11, he said, I can't wait to come to you that I might impart some spiritual gift to you. So impartation is real. There's impartation of the laying on of hands. In the book of Acts, they laid hands on them and they imparted to them, laid hands on people and they received the Holy Spirit. So the laying out of hands, impartation, is all biblical. It's the book of Acts. Yeah, God has never changed his mind. It's the way that we convey blessing. It's the way that we freely you receive, no, you freely give. So it's about the laying out of hands. Um, it's, it's Old Testament and it's New Testament. Well, if my calling is an apostle, and I would not know that my calling is an apostle. So, for example, I see the prophet and I started liking what he's doing. And if I go after him, and if he impart the prophetic anointing in me, and I started functioning the prophecy, that means does it kill my destiny? No, it doesn't kill your destiny. It's just everything that we receive from the Lord is an extra. So you can receive impartation by the laying out of hands. Uh, it's in, it's like part of the package. It's Amos chapter seven verse fourteen says uh, Amos was plowing in the field. He said I was. Uh, he said I was not born a prophet. He said, I was not the son of a prophet, so you can be born a prophet, like Jeremiah was born a prophet. He said, neither was I the son of a prophet, so you can become a prophet by being a son of a prophet. In other words, there's a prophet, you become his son, you can receive impartation by being a son. And he said, uh, but I was called to be a prophet. So there's born prophets, prophets because you have a spiritual father, you're the son of a prophet, and then you're called to be a prophet. Those are impartations. Not born prophets, but I'm the son of a prophet, and because I'm the son of a prophet, you receive the, the blessing, the benefit, the impartation. You can become a prophet Amen. by sitting under a prophet. That's impartation. Amen. So that happens Old Testament, New Testament, all the way through. Glory to God. I want to end this conversation right here because you are busy. So right now, what I want you to do is pray for the viewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that Lord will bless them. Lord will uh, open their spiritual dimension so that they can able to work effectively in the kingdom. So Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I just release impartation to everyone that's watching this and everyone that's listening to this broadcast watching by Facebook Instagram doesn't matter what or Twitter doesn't matter what media whether it's by live stream everyone that's watching this can hear the sound of my voice Lord I bless them I release an impartation activation right now in the realm of the spirit I pray Lord for tangible 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 blessing upon them now in the mighty name of Jesus